My name is Nonso Nozier, and I play Samson in the Bible. Well, when I landed the role of Samson, I was over the moon. It was an amazing opportunity to help tell the story of the Bible. As a Christian, I jumped at the chance. The last time I had been to church before I got the news, my pastor had given me a scripture to read to the congregation, as she often does. And the scripture happened to be Judges and the story of Samson. So I kind of took it as a sign from God that I've got to be part of this show. I think the message that we can take from Samson's story is that no matter how strong you are and successful you are, you can always fall. We all have weaknesses, and um, he was a man of great faith and great strength, but he let his weakness in and took his eye off God for a moment, and that was his downfall. Thank you. What is your name? My name is Delilah. He is strong, faithful, and naive. He's a good man at heart, but I think here the root to his destruction is that he follows his passions instead of his responsibilities. My name's Kirsten Waring, and I play Delilah in the Bible series. Delilah had these two choices, money or love. It's all for you. And at the end of the day, she went for the money. Even though she, she had feelings for Samson and she was in love with him. How does he make you strong? My mother was barren. God brought her a child. Me. But there are things I must not do. Such as? If I cut my hair... I... Oh, my love. What if you cut your hair? My God will take away all my strength. I will be as weak as everyone else. My hope for the Bible series is that it will bring more and more people closer to God. If that's for people to see it and say, I don't remember that story being quite like that in the Bible, and that makes them go and pick up their Bible and go and read it and study it a bit more. Or if it inspires someone in some way to pray a bit more or to, to help others or to live like Jesus, then if that can do that for one person, let alone the millions of people that are gonna watch it, then the job has been done.